Smartphones these days have become an integral part of our lives. Pretty much everybody uses a smartphone, but not everybody knows what they get for what they pay while choosing a new smartphone. Well, many are concerned about the battery it has, camera megapixels, RAM and storage. And yes, these things are important, but are not enough to consider before you buy a new smartphone. So in this video, I'll tell you four most important factors you should also consider along with what you already know. So before getting started, subscribe to this channel. Now if you have done that, let's get started. It's not just the size of a display matters when it comes to a smartphone display. There are even more things you should know. Resolution refers to the number of pixels on display. Higher resolution means more pixels which provides the ability to display more visual information. More size is good but it also equally matters if the display has a good pixel density. Pixel density is the resolution of the display divided by the size of the screen which gives you the PPI or pixels per inch. The higher the pixel density, more sharper images and videos are. There are many display types used in smartphones. LCD, OLED, AMOLED are mostly used these days. LCD displays are found in cheaper phones. They have good color accuracy, but they produce less contrast and consume more power. OLED and AMOLED are technically similar. They are found in some mid-range and most of the premium smartphones. These are thinner than LCDs, very power efficient, have excellent viewing angles and have good contrast ratio. The refresh rate is the number of times in a second a display refreshes its image. It's measured in Hertz. A display with a 60Hz refresh rate will display changes 60 times a second and a 90Hz display will changes 90 times a second. Essentially, what this means is that the higher the refresh rate, the smoother the display is for fast moving images and games. Processor or SOC or chipset is like the brain of the smartphone. Almost everything you do on a smartphone more or less depends on it. A processor is directly responsible for the performance of your smartphone. The experience of anything you do on a phone, starting from opening apps, browsing the internet, playing games, all depends on it. The better the processor, smoother and lag free the experience with these tasks. Picking a processor can be difficult. Look at the processing speed that is mentioned in terms of gigahertz. Higher the value, faster will be the speed and hence the processor. Visit the official site of the processor manufacturer to know in depth about the processor which you choose. And if you are confused to choose the right one between two or more, visit versus.com and you can compare them there and will know which is better of them and why. There is a lot of hype surrounding inbuilt cameras on phones with brands trying to outdo each other by offering more megapixels. Don't let this fool you. By itself, a camera with more megapixel doesn't result in better images. Apart from megapixels, good quality photos are a function of factors like ISO levels, aperture as well as the speed of autofocus. Make sure to focus less on megapixel count and more focus on features such as aperture, dual lens and optical image stabilization. If possible, Quickly try out the smartphone camera at the nearby mobile store or watch videos from trusted reviewers on YouTube. This way you get some idea about the camera performance before your purchase. You can choose the OS among Android or iOS. However, if you have decided to go for Android, you will find many versions. Before buying a new smartphone, Check the Android version of that device. And you should look for the smartphones powered by the latest Android version only as they would continue the software and security updates for next 2 years for sure and you can stay updated during this period. Besides this, manufacturers apply their own customized user interface on top of Android. It can take a while to push the latest updates and the customization depends on manufacturers. Choose a smartphone with the right and best UI for smooth and neat UI experience. For example, OnePlus Oxygen OS is one of the best custom UIs with better optimization and customization features, giving stock Android-like experience. There are more manufacturers who ships them with latest stock Android, like Google Pixel, Nokia, Motorola, Mi A series, etc. Do the research first. Check if a smartphone meets your criteria and budget. 
then compare prices online read and watch reviews from trusted sources and visit local stores for hands on experience if needed don't get fooled by big promotions or special sales first understand what features you need the most in a smartphone as it can vary dramatically changes from person to person have knowledge and make your own decision that's it hope you guys end up liking and enjoyed watching this video if you do like and share this video Lastly subscribe to this channel for more informative tech videos and also turn on notifications to get notified when we upload a new video thanks a lot for watching ispecs have a great day